It's Martin Chuck here, and for those of you obviously watching this, you know I'm on social media quite a bit. You may have seen a electric cart that Roy Sabatini shot 61 the last round of the Olympics, unbelievable round. He was using, well, a friend of mine has one of those, and I'm going to use it today. So I just figured I'd show you how it works. It's a product from DeColt, and here's the thing. This thing is like, this thing is like a Ferrari. It is... I'm going to attach the tires, and some of you are going to heckle me, and frankly, I don't much care because this thing is super cool. So there's your, there's your powertrain. Here's your front wheel, and then this. Here's your golf bag, and I'll show you some of these features, how this works. I'm going to pull this out of here, and it fits in the trunk pretty easy. And you can see, guess what? The clubs are down at the bottom. That's interesting in its own right. Well, why is it there? Center of gravity. Pretty crazy, right? So we're going to take this. I'm going to pop the powertrain in the back. Easy peasy. I'm going to take this front wheel, pop it in the front. There we go. First timer. Easy. Um, the dude, my friend said, Remote is in the pocket. Let's see, the other pocket. There we go. Oh, you know what's really cool is if your iPhone dies, you can charge your iPhone because they've got a USB port down there, which is super slick right down there. So anyway, messy trunk, don't judge. I know some of you have messy trunks out there. Let's, uh, let's give it a whirl. Pretty simple. Just speed to go forward, right and left. Let's go play a little golf. So here's what's cool about this. Check it out. So I'm going to go over some pretty uneven terrain here. And what do you notice? This hasn't tipped over. I've taken carts before. Electric ones is a lark. And right now it would have dumped. So let's head to the course. So what's awesome about this, again, the club heads are down below which is eye-catching because people always look at it and go, what is that? Clubs are on the outside. Well, clubs are on the outside because it makes good sense. There's a kill switch to turn it off. Now, if I hit a little wedge shot, pretty simple here. Well, I got a back right pin position. There's, I got my, my rush on, my Canadian band. Got my rock and roll favorites. So, plenty of places to connect goodies. I got my Bushnell rangefinder. 87. So, as you'll see, the clubs are on the outside. 87 for me is a lob wedge. Um, that's a hard lob wedge. I'm going to just go with my gap wedge. Clubs pop in that tray. It's pretty easy to know what club's what. Starts a lob wedge, goes to 5 iron. I've got 9 irons, or 10 irons. So I've got my 4 iron, my strong iron up in the bag with my woods and hybrid. Hit a little shot in there. See what I do? Tucked pin, bit of a sucker pin. Let's have a little fun. That's highly functional. Let's go make that putt. See there, it's interesting. You know, I just was used to putting a club in the top when really all you need to do is set it in the tray. And these little rolly things kind of hold your grips really nicely. And then, you know, on a hot summer's day in Arizona, I just might cover up the grips, put a towel there, good to go. Now, always remember, do the best you can with your divots. I know there's a sand and seed bottle for this gizmo, but I don't have it attached, so I got to do that. Now, simply want to go to the green, let's go. Now, what's kind of nice is I can walk to my golf ball and easily just kind of navigate the Decole Grand around the green. And that's really cool. So just, just a little thumb toggle here. And I'd be terrified if I was using a normal card here because it would probably dump on me. Whoa! Beginner rookie move. Going to my ball. I'll let the decolt keep going. I'm going to look at my putt even. This is really easy to control too. And then hit it, kill it. Mark my ball and we'll hit a putt. Cool. So I'm not gonna bore you and 
have you watch me putt. So let's go, uh, let's go play the 18th hole at the Raven. Let's go. Pretty uneven surface, pretty crazy hill we're going to navigate here. No way a regular cart gets up that without crashing. And no need to bring it on the tee, so I'm just going to kill it right there. Let's go hit a tee ball. Let's hit a shot. Well, not my favorite, but that'll do. All right, let's go. So here's what's kind of cool. The cart, you know, my cart's way over there, and I'm going to walk straight, so let's have a little fun. Steering from afar, and I'll meet it on the other end. Meet it somewhere in the middle up here. Hello, cart. Cool, so you know, on the back right there, you got your scorecard holder, your tees, there's tons of pockets. And what I'm loving, I got my phone, that's, that's not gonna run out of juice, because it's plugged into the main battery power pack. You know, and so here's a little 10 second, I'm gonna aim it, I'm gonna hit the star button, I got 10 seconds. It's gonna go on its own now, because my ball is reasonably in the fairway. I just let it do its thing. If I wanna toggle it a little bit, I can, center it up. I didn't put my driver away, so I'm just kind of enjoying my walk out here. It's beautiful. A little bit of a warm, sunny Phoenix day. So a nice casual walk. Pretty easy to control. A couple of clicks with a thumb. Only problem when it gets ahead of me like this, I can't hear my music. And then hit the stop button, it stops pretty much on a dime. Let's go put that driver back. Nice little strike, sit down ball. That was a good one, I like that. Clean up my divot, all right. I guess it'll take a while to get used to not going this way and just setting the clubs in the tray. And again, you know, I'm a stickler for the grips on a hot day, so just drape my towel right where I would have it anyway, just kind of over the top of my bag. And away we go. Set the 10 second counter and I can kind of forget it, forget about it. Now there's a lake down there, I'm not gonna let it go in there. But what an awesome way to enjoy golf. I mean, when I was a kid, carrying a bag was great. Great for building my athleticism, my legs and stuff. But to be honest with you, this is a walk in the park and that's what I'm looking for. You know, there's a lot of electric caddies. There's one, the power caddy, it's functional, no doubt about it, but it's about 35 pounds. And that's a, that's a pretty good lift for some elderly folks. I think the best guess on this, and I'm sure you can look it up, I wanna say the base is maybe, feels like it's 10 pounds or less. So you got your golf bag, which usually weighs in the neighborhood of 20, 25 pounds. And then you have your, the base and the front wheel weighs very little. The, the whole thing, the beauty of it is the center of gravity is low because the clubs are club head down. So here's a situation where I've got a putt, you know, and I could grab my putter and let's see how we do here. Grab my putter, send this on its merry way, paying a little attention to where it goes because eventually I'm going to end up want to walk off the green over here, so I don't want the card to go across the green, not that it would hurt anything, but I'll try to keep it on the fringe as best I can. And again, keep in mind, I'm a complete rookie with this. I'm sure my, my thumb skills would get way, way better. And then I'll just kill it right there, done. 
and I murdered it. Sit down, boo-boo. And as far as you know, I made that comebacker. You'll never know. So let's go have a cool beer. Let's navigate this crazy hill that most carts cannot navigate. Carts are coming. Hello, gentlemen, how are you? How are you? How are you guys? Awesome. So once again, the center of gravity, you know, the, the thing that makes this stand out is the clubs down low. And that's also, oh, we got some trash back here. This is all carbon fiber composite. Like when you look at this, you know that there's so much thought that goes into this. You know, this is the handle that you lift to put it in and out of your trunk. Um, these little rolly balls to kind of secure your grips. I use a mid-sized grip and I'm sure it could go much, much bigger than that, but pr probably fashioned for most typical grips and ladies' grips. If you want to secure your shafts in here, they've got these little shaft secure things, which there's a thought that I didn't think about. There is a, there's an awesome umbrella attachment if you like shade when you're out in the Arizona sun. You know, again, I've got my, had my tunes on, but I must have had a call because my tunes shut off. And you got battery, you got a battery charger right there if you want to listen to music all day. So, you know, it's a fantastic thing that's really easy to steer. Now, let's go uh, disassemble it, put it back in the car and show you how easy that is. So if I want to put the brakes on, it's as quick as that, which is really nice. Obviously got to look both ways. So let's go put it away. I mean, you could see the ease of operation, complete rookie to these, you know, and I'd be lying if I said I haven't futzed with a couple different power carts over the years of being in the business. And, you know, the part about this one, again, is that you could see on those crazy slopes at the Raven, on the sides of the holes, the cart didn't dump. And <laughs> my wife, we got an attachment for her push cart and it dumped a bunch of times. In fact, she won't even use it anymore. And that's, uh, that's too bad because this kind of golf, just playing golf, walking, holding your clubs, the ease of how this works, you know, the, it's actually just good looking too. The bag's nice. And for your friends that tease you about the clubs being in the front tray for a little bit, they won't tease you for long. Once they, they'll be pretty soon, they'll be saying, hey, let's, uh, can I borrow that for a round of golf? Put, pump the brakes and, and let's disassemble it. Okay. So I'm gonna turn it off. Power on the remotes, easy peasy. Turn it off, there's an off switch down here. Off, off. Now, if you don't have the remote, it won't work. So be sure to put this in the, a safe place in the side of your bag. You know, I wouldn't just click it to the magnet because then you might lose it in your trunk somewhere. If you look at my trunk, you could lose it really easy. Um, here's the beauty of it. To, you know, disengage the wheel, that's no work. Pop that guy again, no judging my trunk, please. That's not fair. We're gonna put the arm down. I take my phone out first off. My tunes, my extra cord. Cool. Put that in, secure that. We're gonna push it up and give that a little tug. And again, I think um, I'm not that strong, but I could curl that a bunch of times. Put that in there, that's one arm by the way, just, I mean anybody could handle this. And here's a little strap. This is a Tesla, it's not the most monster trunk you're ever gonna see. So you know it's cool too, I'm not gonna lose a digit like folding up one of those other carts like a baby stroller. And bada bing, it's as easy as that. So, you know, for those folks looking at design, there's a lot of thought that's gone into this. You know, you saw me go up and down some hills, it didn't dump. It stops on a dime. You can send it ahead of you. You can make it go around the greens. You can have a really pleasing golf experience. Like the more I look at that, the more I like it because some wild designer back in Europe where they have a ton of electric push carts did a phenomenal job looking at all the details and thought outside of the box. So while that cart is, it's expensive, not gonna lie, it's not for everybody, but if you're somebody that wants to have a really pleasing, enjoyable round of golf, and likes to walk, it's the best product on the market, period. So Martin Chuck signing off. I hope you like that little, you know, hole in a bit journey with the Decolt. It's a fantastic way to play golf.